Yeah, now here we have a big fuck off snake chilling on a cabinet and it lashes out at Palestinian Steve Irwin. Palestinian Steve O is calm as fuck though. He's a consummate professional. He decides to move. The snake is like, what, do you think I'm a blind cunt? Don't tap on me house. I can see you right there. Fucking come at me, bro. Aha, got ya. Wait, no, where, where did you go? Palestinian Steve O keeps mixing up his position like they're playing a game of Marco Polo. The snake says Marco, P. Steve says Polo, Polo mate. Now he creeps back around to the left side of the home office. The snake says Marco, Marco, but Palestinian Steve-O refuses to answer. I guess I don't blame him. It's pretty uncommon to play this game with a giant fucking snake. I don't know where P. Steve has gone, to be honest. He must be a master of camouflage, if even I can't fucking see him. Maybe the cameraman could pan around. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 there he is. He's on the left side of the screen. Not sure if you could see him. Oh, and he unleashes his inner Jet Lee. That was as fast as fucking lightning. His mate is like, quick, whack it in this shopping basket. But the snake wants to have a cheeky wrestle first. Palestinian Steve-O says, no, 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 no. No, piss off, we don't have time for that. Just get in the bloody basket, you slimy dickhead. It looks like he might lose an arm here. No, it's all good. Just shut the fucking trap door done. Here he says, crikey, that was fucked. It tried to strangle me neck and pop my head. If it managed to do that, it also would have split my chest and my guts would be all over the floor. Thankfully, I have a strong neck. Let's go get a beer. Fuck yes, Palestinian Steve-O. Fuck yes, mate. Oh, 